Oh yeah, if if I remember the beginning correctly, he runs into her. They have a little bit of an argument about where the the seating is, and he's like, "No, this has always been my spot." She's like, "I was sitting here. I want to sit here, and everything like that," because they had just transferred in. I can't remember if he just gives up. I don't. I don't. That might I, be the next scene. Yeah, he might just give up, but yeah, he, then he gets ends cut. up finding out that They're he's their all tutor. Failing, so he has to tutor them. But yeah, so in the future, he marries one of them, and the whole thing it's it's kind of like how I met your mother in a way, because yeah. you're trying to guess which ones the he ends up marrying. So which ones the cult, but, the murderer. Yeah, but they finished it. We're not so, gonna spoil who. I I, yeah, no, so who. my buddy was, I was like, do not tell me. I do not want to know. I do not care. I, I need care. to watch the anime without any, like, knowing who it is. Manga readers be and like, then, time to spoil. Yeah, and then he was like, all right, I'm not going to tell you anything. Good, good. And I told him, I'm like, well, I'm right, though, right? It, it's the one I picked. <laughs> And like, he just, he, he like continues on. I keep guessing. And then I found out because he eventually said no or yes to, to all of my guesses. Well, <laughs> so I, I know fault. who he ends up with. That's your fault. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm, I'm obviously not going to tell anyone else. Yeah. I'm taking this to my grave, but. I guess, how would you explain the five characters based on just season one, I guess, or however you can with the knowledge you have? How would you explain like, Itsuki, how would you explain her personality and how she acts? They are unique by their personalities. That's pretty much the whole um, enjoyment of the show, because they're all different by based on their personalities. And so even though Itsuki, they look differently, they look the same at the same time. Facially, yep, they have different hairstyles, which you know plays into different fashion. personalities. Very different fashion. Yes, different fashion as well, and different interests. That's another thing. So Itsuki is the, isn't she the, I don't want to say smartest of them? No, it's Nino, isn't it? Uh, I can't remember which one's the smartest Nino's of them. Nino's a smartass. I know that. <laughs> yeah, but they make it apparent in the show that there's what they're all dumb. Yeah. But uh, I think it's Nino who's the smartest one of them by just a hair. Yeah. But Itsuki's in the she, she's the one that like got introduced first kind of the, the show kind of pushes us pushes her down down our throats you know like sh this is the one she has the same tint of hair color as the um, wife in the the end of the opening that you that you get to see with blurred out face you know because they all have like this light pink ish color not too much of an artist so i can't tell you exactly what shade but sakura. the yeah yeah pr pretty much yeah like a sakura color but itsuki has a a uh, little bit of a redder yeah that's what i tint. thought when i saw that but they they go uh in the show they put on like wigs at one point here it's just like oh yeah they do and they fuck with the uh the viewer as as much as they do with the uh protagonist the, yeah yeah for me i've i've I don't really remember Itsuki or Nina that much, mainly because I wasn't really that interested in them. So that's why it's hard Oof. for me to remember. Oof. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, yeah. But I feel like uh, Ichika. I mean, she's kind of like the tomboy, short hair, obviously. So she's and the oldest. Yeah, the most mature. That's for sure. And then there's Yatsuba, which is the least mature. So they they have a stark contrast in that in that regard. But that's also kind of why I like them because they do hit their marks. But they're still, like, I guess, interesting in that regard. Yeah. And then there's Miku, which is the gamer girl. <laughs> no, but she's, uh, she has yes. like, the, the headset and, um, the quiet one, the really, reserved one. I probably like her the most, but then again, that's kind of cliche to say because I feel like she had, like, the most shipping, uh, in the yep. show. But I yep. feel like Ichika was underrated in Yatsuba were in that regard, even though I, I still prefer them over Itsuki and Nino. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, w I would say I don't hate any of the any of the characters, but I think Nino fucking drugs the Futuro <laughs> the doesn't doesn't she? Like, oh come on, Bob. we don't we don't know. You know, it, it's all speculation. Oh no, he's just full. He just ate so much, he was full and collapsed. Yeah, that's yeah, it's a drug. food coma. People have it all the time. And then I guess I guess uh, to talk about like the art style and the animation, it's very unique. I do like the uh, obviously all the girls are you know kawaii <laughs> all 
All all the uh, mm-hmm. characters look really nice. The art style is very it's eye candy, honestly. And the animation's yes. nice and smooth. And there are some scenes it's that anime. are beautiful. I do like the art style. That's probably my that's probably my most favorite part about the entire show. I mean, the character interactions are really fun. I guess the art style just sort of stands out. Like when you see this show, you're like, oh yeah, that's that's by this artist, you know? Yes, very fresh, very refreshing to watch too. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, it's like a it's a harem, and <laughs> I, I wasn't. It was one one of the first few animes I watched, I guess, in 2019. Well, it, well, one of the first few in in terms of like airing. So mm-hmm. I guess I got to experience that real time. I think it's a winter 2019 anime, but um, I was just like, oh, it's a harem. I'm not really gonna get much out of this. Like, uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm that's watch pretty much this. everyone. First reaction to this show. It's like I don't really another hair, and, and if it's cliche, I kind of like this. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the the music's really nice. I really like the. Uh, I think it's the outro, the ED. I think I, I really like that. Uh-huh. It's very catchy. I have it on my uh, music playlist, and the, the audio and the music's just really nice. It complements the art style really well. And I think overall, this is a very enjoyable show. It's one of those shows that you just kind of sit down and watch. It doesn't. I I don't feel like I have to like get in a certain mindset to watch it. I can just flick it on and just watch a few episodes if I want. So I think mm-hmm. that's what the show is really good at. Uh, being cliche while still being interesting. Fun fact about uh, the characters. Did you know that mm. uh, Miku's voice actor, her name is also Miku? <laughs> oh, wow. That must make it easy in the studio, too. I would imagine. It could make things <laughs> harder for all I know. Yeah, I mean, they, they don't even have to think about calling... Yeah, her by a different name by her character name it just call her name to, uh like what would you rate the show there you go <laughs> well i rated it a uh uh a 10 on uh, anime my anime list <laughs> just because um like if it if i enjoyed it a ton at the time and like it was one of the best shows i watched during that time period then i'll just rate it as a 10 just to kind of I guess filter the shows I enjoyed most in that category, as opposed to the show is, shows that were like just all right. So enjoyment is a is a huge factor in your rating, is is what you're. Yes. Yeah, so I I really enjoyed this show because the mm. um, the plot, you know, the storyline, it's it's obviously catered to uh, single guys for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot. You're of not going to run into that uh, very often. Yeah, it, it's quite the uh, quite the scenario, and and I think what what's good about the show is that it gives you a, uh, an absurd scenario and it plays into it really well. It's yeah, like, it's something especially you never with the mystery with. aspect. Yeah, yeah, it adds that, that twist. I gave it a uh, seven out of ten. I would probably put it at like, well, I have that kind of like a, it's a seven out of ten, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Seven is good. That's a, a good rating. I mean, you, you don't fail just because you're at like a six or like a five but i only gave it that because i've watched a lot of shows and i don't really put it as much on enjoyment factor but i guess kind of overall but oh, yeah. personally i'll put it at 7.5 but you can't really do that on uh, certain websites they don't allow 0.5s i'd have a lot more 7.5s if that was the case so i was like all right it's either a seven or an eight so i put down a seven but i would say it's it's still like a really really fun show Mm -hmm. i don't think i'd i don't think i'd rewatch it until the actual season two comes out until i want to prepare myself for that yeah as much as i really enjoyed it there's a there's a there's a lot of competition Mm -hmm. so yeah yeah i i just (laughs) i use it kind of like a filter like if it's a if i would recommend it i put like recommend it to someone like if someone asked me what should i watch you know starting into anime or what should i watch i've been watching quite a bit and i just filter it so that i just go up to the tens but yeah. i don't really use a three or two or one yeah, in same. my anime list i could get it down like two because i'm sure there's shows that i've watched um oh it's fine it's that definitely, it's definitely I enjoy a better. Horror that i would recommend like if you want that sort of field that's one of the one of the better shows out there like in general like over yes in that field with that being said, I guess it's time to go on to the memes. It's a pretty, pretty fucking, if, the, if there's anything about this show, it's the memes that are pretty goddamn good. So here's this. I think it's, I think it's technically uh, accurate uh, that they, um, Miku, and then it's Yatsuba, <laughs> and it's Itsuki, Nino, and 
I, I was surprised Ichika was at the bottom on that. Yes, obviously at the bottom. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm like, what? I mean, I guess she was kind of a, a dick for trying to hide, like, hide in, like, a, a sort of, I, I don't know how to say it, but she just sort of. That was an accident. Place. Yeah. Yes. It was like, in the, the garage kind of place at the, um, what was it? Like that high school she... camp out thing that I they thought... always do. I thought she was dressed up as somebody. Was she the one dressed up as someone else, or was it? No, she's the actor. Person? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Or was it an actor or a singer? I can't remember. The I artist, I guess. Hmm. I'm pretty sure she was actor. Yeah. The one that um, is the, like the most mature. She's trying to get a job. She's yeah. trying to make it big. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I guess some people don't really like the, um, I guess the tomboyish stuff because she's a she's or matureish that sort of stuff. I don't know. It's just it is. It is seven, eight, nine, like two, six, seven, eight, nine. Like Miku is like <laughs> a whole four points ahead above them. <laughs> That's hilarious. I wonder who's number one. Oh, I think <laughs> it was uh, from Shield Hero. I think it was uh, a. Ah, Raptalia, yeah. Raptalia, yes. I'm pretty sure she was best girl of that season. And yeah. But it's funny because all five of the characters of that season still made it on the top 10. That's fucking crazy. Mm hmm. So that's that's half of the list. Half of the best waifus of that season were from this one show. But... And then we got uh, Futaro there with the uh, Infinity Gauntlet because he has all of them. Yeah, the, the <laughs> five. And I like how Miku's at, in the middle. Yeah, that's fitting. The five waifus. Yeah, of course Miku's in the middle. Bro, she's she's like still in like memes and, and you still see her around nowadays. And it's just like, guys, this this it's been almost... Uh, it's been like half a year since the sh the show aired. Can I copy your homework? Okay, this is what they would react if you asked them to copy. Uh, if you can copy their homework. All right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Futaro would do that. Okay. And yeah, honestly, I'll, I'll help too. you. Yeah. He's like, I'll help you with it. Okay, that's exactly what I expect. Cause he's a fucking. Yeah, he's a tutor. That's his job. Then you have Yasher yeah, mm -hmm. from her. Okay, of course, Miku would. Miku's, I think the mo the. She's the easiest to work with uh, by far. Well, she's shy. So yeah. if you, I had, I mean, there were some kids in my class that were really shy, but really good at, at school work. And then like you'd me. have the more popular people who hated doing yeah. school. They'd go up to them. I was actually one of the people that people would come up and ask to copy. But I always took a Futaro approach. So, yeah, I always right, said, well, here, just sit down. I'll kind of help you with it because I'm not going to be there for you on the test bold of you to assume I did the homework yeah she's pretty hard to work with uh <laughs> I guess she kind of had like not really an ego but she she has a, a big defense barrier so, yes yeah. yes and then lol nope yeah she just, she doesn't have a barrier she just straight straight up attacks you and leaves like a hit and run yeah and then wait we had homework all right because she's always busy and sidetracked and then left yep. on red of course she doesn't She's so. I guess she's the airhead of the show. I would. Say. Yes, exactly. That's what the the point of that was. She's gonna read it and then forget about it. I just came to take something. Take what? Nudes me? Perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> oh god. I just I just love that perhaps image because it's cursed. I actually watched that show or uh, that TV oh, show. Oh yeah. That cartoon. Yeah. It's <laughs> so dumb. But uh, yeah, just like imagine what she would say if you if you said perhaps, this guy would be slapped. Not gonna lie, his career would be ended. Yeah, I, I think quite literally. He's uh he he works his job for extra money, doesn't he? For like uh, his family, I think like, he's poor or some shit. Yeah, exactly. His That's he's funny. very poor. Yeah, it's uh... getting a bunch of money from tutoring these girls. He takes this job super seriously and. Yeah. Uh, you know, because he doesn't want to have to lose that income for his family. Which I guess there's some lore right there. So that, uh, yep. That this, this is, is a very, really the guy in the pig. And uh, I know the original meme, like the, you know, what this is formatted based off of. So that sort of adds like an extra layer. Was, was this, uh, his picture or was it her picture? Oh, this is hers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is in her room. She's like, oh, I remember this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then he tries to take it from her. <laughs> and she's like, no. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think 
I think, hmm, no, because, uh, yeah, he does. Crap, I can't but he, remember. He does, but I don't think he realizes. No, he realizes that is him, but she doesn't realize that's him. So, yeah, that, mm -hmm. that's actually quite hilarious. Which makes it even more uh, comical when he has to wear that blonde wig in a later episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she mistakes him oh, for I being that guy that. from long ago. Oh, my God, dude. That is hilarious. Okay. And then he, you know, that theme happens throughout the rest of the show where he has to try and play off like, oh, I'm leaving. <laughs> Was because it, if she walks up and finds out it's actually him, then... Wasn't that in a festival? Like, like that scene took part in a festival as well? Or like uh, no, it was it was the same... It was the same uh, scene as uh, Ichika and him getting locked in that uh, garage. Oh, they yeah. They were all out on their camp, their uh, camping trip. Oh, and they had to, yeah. like, dress up for the... What was it? The, the courage? The test of courage? I'm grinning. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Of oh course. <laughs> oh Jesus. Jesus Christ. That's cursed. <laughs> well, this this is my uh how the the turn have tabled. That's why you fasten your seatbelt. Uh, yes. <laughs> you oh my goodness. You never know when you're gonna hit the brakes. <laughs> oh goodness. Right, this well. dude is one lucky man though, I will have to say. Well, pretty much all harem protagonist main characters are aren't they technically yeah you could argue every i would say he's the least <laughs> i would say he's the least lucky because he has to put up with those five in, in a tutoring sense and most like harems, yeah i'd be fine and by most harems the the main character isn't a tutor he has a different role the fact that he has to tutor them and their uh, progress and grades are a direct representation of his tutoring skills maybe he's not as lucky let's assume he gets them all to pass all right it's easy mode from there if he can get them all to pass then you know being the tutor is an advantage in that regard because you're kind of forced to be with them whereas in some harms it's like they maybe meet like once every few months or is this a more of a daily sort of a thing yes so i guess i guess he's lucky and unlucky at, at the same time I'd go uh, on. I'd edge over to the side of uh, Lucky <laughs> because getting it to hang out and uh, spend time on a regular basis with five beautiful women, I, you, you'd ha you'd be hard uh, hard pressed yeah. to convince me that's not a good thing. Uh, for me, it wouldn't be a good thing because I had really low self esteem. So <laughs> I would have I would have fucking died. Um, Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> no, I, I would have died, dude, if I had to do all of that, dude. I get stressed out, like, really easily. So even, ha even like, the idea of, like, a... Like, even just high school alone would have been too much. Uh, it already was too much. And then you gotta put me in a tutoring position. Like, I'm supposed to be teaching people? Five people who are hard to get to? I would have fucking died. So for me, <laughs> it wouldn't have fit for me. But for some people, this is, like, a dream come true.